I think I have quite a flat tongue. I have a quite prominent gag reflex. <laughs> Everyone's mouth is a bit like a salivating machinery. It's a bit of a miracle machine, isn't it, the mouth? So today I've actually been doing a workshop where I've been casting up people's tongues. It's provoked a mixed reaction, actually. People have been really excited about to see what their tongue looks like outside of your body. It's made people, I think, more aware of, you know, the physicality of their tongue, the texture, the size. The mouthy season has tried to sort of get inside the mouth, look at things like interesting things you can do with saliva. Animal mouths are different from our own. As I'm talking to you now, it's a great way of communicating. However, it's also extremely important from actually eating. Worried that people are looking at our teeth, are they slightly yellow? So there's that sort of side of teeth where people are feeling slightly vulnerable. It's particularly interesting to know more about your mouth because everyone uses our mouths so much every day. We, we talk with our mouths, we uh, make love with our mouths, we eat with our mouths, you know, and that there's many more things that you do that you're not really even aware of. I want to teach people how to use dental technology to make a wearable sex toy and we will modify the orthodontic retainer. For me it's like I'm really excited because it's about how to use real medical technology but not for curing disease but we use it for a, like sexual pleasure purpose. It's interesting to think about the mouth having any use, but like aesthetic use. That's quite an interesting one we spoke about earlier. And then to have it use during sex. I've never really thought about all the weird fleshy modules, nodules you can put on your mouth. It's a bit gross, but it's really interesting, really fascinating. So this time, the collaboration between me and the Science Gallery London, I want to let public to experience science by a very creative way. Uh, with artistic approach and uh, design methodology. Performance is a key part of my poetry. So with your mouth, tongue, palate, taste, buds and teeth, bite down into this scientific, cultural, oral feast. I want them to, to hear the expression in, in my voice, hear the inflections, hear where I um, change the impact. Even if you had like a perfect smile, the, the kind of discussion went to is if it's genuine. A lot more people are insecure about it, but they're also like, some people have different ideals about it. If there was like an old guy who doesn't have access to the industry and is like lovely and has like crumbling teeth but smiles, you still feel that. Realise how kind of subtle but necessary it is. The mouth can make us feel very vulnerable. So we're looking, exploring the mouth, looking at these positive sides about the mouth so that actually we all feel fairly happy to smile.